Hi guys, binary options trading again and again. And the first thing that I actually want to mention today that I am asking you to sh just to watch the videos, like, I don't know, maybe half, maybe on the highest speed, I don't know. But there is a lot of useful info that actually I am discovering or remembering just, you know, in the middle of the video or just in the end, because I am trading with the strategies. And sometimes I'm looking for the different situation to show you different different strategies with that strategy and if you will just check you know the beginning of the video and never never discover how it's working on the real market it's not that informative and I'm just asking because I get a lot of questions about the strategies or about some infos and out of these questions I actually understand that you never watched the full video this is important for me and for you also not even for me for you all so let's start with the strategy today. It's going to be still the simple strategy with two indicators and the market is not so simple, but let's check how it's going to be working out. So I am proceeding with the nicest, easiest strategies. And today I want to make even the picture of my Quadex platform looking like. I am a baby trader, actually. <laughs> Maybe that was actually the mistake with the naming and I need to just name myself, not like baby, because I'm actually kind of experienced in that. But anyway, what's done already is done. And this is going to be the 30 seconds candle again for us. And the first indicator is going to be the awesome oscillator. And I also not spend a lot of time about telling you about the, how I choose the periods because this is the strategy and you may use it and I want all setups just to be done then just, you know, to tell you all the details. And sometimes it is about just the candles, the periods, about how I want it to be looking. And actually in this strategy, I must say with this all setups, it's going to be a little bit vice versa. And with this awesome oscillator and the candles and with the envelopes, it's like with the Keltner channel or with all the channels that we were actually discussing that are just a little bit, a few key things about all these strategies with the channel. And I'm going to tell you more just when we're going to see the market and the first best that we're going to make. Let's go. So here I am just without any checking indicators gonna make this bad for a downward movement and as I told you before without about the awesome oscillator here we see the green candles and actually on the chart we see the orange candles and now we may see that was the changing of the trend and we are expecting the continuation so we just enter it not like you know a little bit before but a little bit in beginning of the trend and what about the envelopes? We are expecting that the chart trying to be closer, closer or just inside of this channel. And you may see here the situations a little bit looking a little bit weird. But anyway, uh, the normal situation when the chart are just inside of this channel and we are expecting that it's going to be getting back, getting back. But here with the awesome oscillator, so it's just the green candles and it's not, you know, getting smaller and smaller. So we are expecting that it's going to be the continuation of this trend. And it's actually what we see. Uh, this is the first profit. Yep. We can go next. So you may see here the envelopes look just huge and it mostly reminded us the Keltner channel or some classic channels, but it is not. And here with the awesome oscillator, this is the orange candle just started. And with the whole, you know, movement of the channel, we may see that it actually, the chart started to go a little bit upward. And this is enough for us. We made our bet for an upward movement and just expecting what we're going to have as a result. So this is what actually we are seeing here. But you may notice that last two candles are green. And you may see that this is a little bit, yeah, but it started. So we were just right in time. The timing, you know, the time frame and the period that we chose that was already correct. But anyway, at that point, it started to be, yes, it started to be a little bit more tricky. But we were with the perfect timing. So 
what we are seeing here, the first intention may be that it's going to be a downward, actually bad, but check the chart, the whole chart, what was going on. We are actually a little bit with the channel, with the envelopes, we are a little bit at the peak. And you may see that it's just was at the peak and after that peak we are expecting that it's going to be a downward movement but i made this bad for an upward movement nevertheless i am having the green candles at the awesome oscillator but it actually showing us that the whole of that are going to be rising and you may see the awesome oscillator candles now are not just below they are just above <laughs> And what we are just seeing that we were correct, correct, and correct. This is, yeah, it was just something wrong with, the, with that. And now, just now, we may see that the whole channel started to show us that we are getting down. And you may see this drastic, the, just the giant, giant orange candle. But we just were correct about this peak, you know, that we're gonna hit this peak and then after a while, just get down. So let's go next. So what we are actually seeing here, just look at this weird shape of the channel and it was just like waving and it's actually about the volatility and they're not the small, you know, but in some cases it was just drastic and huge. So what I made actually here, I made it for an upward movement and I made it for two bats just because of the channel and I see this the repeating, you know, of the trend and just check the awesome oscillator here. It seems like useless because all these candles are just green and in that case, I am trusting only my vision of the chart and the vision of the envelopes and we made it. And here is just the chart just went at the peak. That is so weird. I mean, this chart is weird. It actually not that we if we are gonna choose the different indicators, but for this strategy, it is if you just you know sometimes you see with that indicators you may understand nothing, but you see just the chart and you may see that actually it's easily predicted in that case and you are entering never mind in all the indicators that you are actually chose but i do not suggest that if you are unexperienced only if you are ready to risk and uh, i don't know emotionally stable <laughs> so here and um, let's make it our last bet and i got some confused feelings actually about this strategy because I don't feel that all situations with the biggest payouts currency pair were perfect actually for that strategy. Sometimes the strategy is okay, but the market is quite... Just look at that chart. I mean, at that last candles, it looks like crazy. It just looks like crazy. But here we are expecting together with the envelopes that it's going to be the rising together with the awesome escalator just above you know that line we are expecting it's going to be the rising so we enter it and just don't give me this orange candles please let's wait so it's still the perfect situation for us it's still working and rising and can you check the peak of this chart it is so much higher than it was before and who knows what it's going to be next? Who knows how much they're going to be rising, how long it's going to be, and how the big it's going to be the fall. So in the in the middle of that trend, I would not risk to enter, but here the envelope still showing that we are rising, but I'm going to finish at that point because I feel already confused and I want to be confusing for you even more. So as I told you, market a little bit crazy and I found some crazy situations and there was not so many currency payers with the, you know, sufficient payout. So I made it what I made it. And um, just tell me how you like that. Tell me, do you have any, I don't know, so confused situations also? Because the strategy, I'm quite sure about that strategy. But when the strategy is simple, but market is complicated it's so you know it's so hard to combine but anyway i showed how you may use it or how you may not use it better but any questions i don't know any suggestions compliance anything like that text me give me feedback you know i'm waiting for it and i have my instagram telegram here on youtube so any sources you can use to give me your feedback so stay tuned <laughs>
Thank you.